accessibility tutorials this is vaishnavi here so friends if you want my latest updates and videos just click on subscribe button then you will get all my latest updates and videos to your email directly so friends in this video google drive for android part 3 i'm going to teach you how to collaborate our folder with others and some useful settings of google drive for android using talkback so let's learn what is collaboration first so collaboration is nothing but giving access of our folder to others so that they can share files add edit view organize the files in our folder this option is very useful when you're having a folder related to your work and your colleagues want to share their files with your folder so that all the files related to your work will be in a single folder this folder can be accessed by you as well as by your colleagues they can edit view organize files in your folder as per the permissions they have been given by you so friends let's learn how to collaborate our folder with others and some useful settings of google drive for android using talkback let's open drive app here pause button drive okay here is my drive app i'm double tapping on it and it's opening now i have a folder here named android folder previously we have created in the previous video right folders and list name android folder modified colon 5 colon 48 pm okay android folder so i want to share this folder with my friend because she has some apks with her and she want to share the apks with me so that this folder can be accessed by me as well as by her so first we have to double tap and long press on this folder in order to select it okay i have selected it by double tapping and long pressing on it now we have to double tap on more options which will be located on top right corner most probably more options button out of okay i have double tapped on it and if you scroll on you can hear add people remove and add people add people okay we have to double tap on add people option so it has been opened now you can see two edit boxes the first one is people edit box the second one is message edit box edit, edit box people so in this people edit box we have to type the email of the person to whom we want to share this folder so i'm typing email here recording control pause button okay i have typed email here Edit, edit box, partial jokes one at gmail.com. Okay, I'm swiping right. Can organize, add, and edit button. Can organize, add, and edit button. If you double tap on it, you can change the permissions. Okay, I'm double tap on, tapping can on organize, it. Can organize, add, and edit check. Okay, you can see two check boxes here. One check box is can add, edit, and organize button. Can, you, can organize, add, and edit check. Okay, it is the first check box and it has been checked. The second checkbox is can view, not checked. can view not checked. So here you can give the permissions to the person according to your preferences. So I want to check on can edit, add, and view checkbox. Okay. Edit, 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 can view it. button, edit box, message. Can view. Okay. Can organize, add. Yes. Can I've organize. Checked on it. Now I am swiping right again. Edit box, message message edit box here you can type any message to the person it is optional so i don't want to type anything right now so i'm swiping right again until you hear confirm sharing and send to collaborators button who has access dash tap to manage collaborators Not dismiss button confirm sharing and send to collaborators button okay confirm sharing and send to collaborators button when we double tap on it an email will be sent to the person saying the person has shared a folder with you on google drive so i'm going to double tap on confirm sharing and send collaborators button confirm sharing and send the collaborators button okay yes i have double tapped on it and yes i will be presented with main screen of google drive again more actions button and list folders and list okay name Android folder modified colon 5 colon 48 pm. Okay. Now we have learned how to add people to our folder. They can edit, view, organize the files right now because I have given the permission like that. 
Now let's learn how to remove the people from our folder. Recording control. Pause button. Now I have add my friend, right? So I want to remove her from my folder. So let's double tap and long press on the folder from which we want to remove the people. Folders and list Android folder modified colon five. Okay. I have double tapped on this Android folder because I want to remove people from this folder. And now it has been selected. Now we have to double tap on more options. More options button. Up. Now let's go to add people option again. Add people and list. Okay. I have double tapped on add people. Now after the message edit box, you can hear who has access tap to manage collaborators. Edit box message. Who has access dash tap to manage collaborators. Yes, we have to double tap on this who has access option. Okay, I have double tapped on it. Now you can hear one person is owner. That is me. Tech accessibility tutorials. Tech accessibility tutorials at gmail.com. Over and list. Yes, it is owner. I'm swiping right again. It will say smart profile. Open smart profile for tech accessibility tutorials okay. button. I'm swiping right again. Harshaljips.1.gmail.com Okay, Harshaljips. So I want to remove this person from my folder. So I'm swiping right again. Open smart profile for Harshaljips.1 button. Smart profile. Can organize, add, and edit button for Harshaljips.1. So, can organize, add, edit. So we have to double tap on this option. Can organize, add, and edit not checked, and list. Okay, now you will be presented with three checkboxes. First one is... Can organize, add, and edit not checked. Okay, that is the first option. It has been checked by default. Can view not checked. Can view not checked. No access not checked. No access. So we want to remove the people from our folder, right? So we have to double tap on no access. So Can, no access not checked. No access. I'm gonna double tap on no access. Okay, the person has been removed from my folder. In this way, you can remove the people from your folder pause button okay the person has been successfully removed from the folder now i'm swiping right again zero link sharing off private dash only you can access select the change link sharing off friends what sometimes what happens is when you share link with somebody it will ask you request access now we have to enable this link sharing option so it is Disabled by default, we have to enable it right now. Take it, link sharing off, private dash only you can access, select the change. So, I'm gonna double tap on link sharing off button to enable it. Okay, now it will tell you link sharing on. Take link sharing on, anyone with a link can view, select the change. Okay, link sharing on, anyone can view, select to change. So, if you double tap on this, you can hear three options. First one is can view check can view the second one is can organize add and edit can organize add and edit the third option is no access no access so if you press on no access the link sharing will be disabled and if you press on can view and if you share a link with anyone else they can view the files and download it and if you double tap on can organize add and edit they can Organize, edit the files in your folder. So for now, I'm double tapping on can view. Check, can view. Okay. Now press OK button here. OK button. Out of in this way, you can enable the link sharing option to share any link with your friends. Talk back is activated. Pause button. So friends, I'm coming back. I'm pressing back button. Now I am on the main screen of Google Drive. Now. I want to see the folders which has been shared with me. For instance, my friend shared a folder with me. So I want to see the folder. Now we have to double tap on open navigation drawer in order to see the folder. Open navigation drawer button. It will be located on left top corner. Now we have to double tap on this shared with me option. Share recent Google photo shared with Google photos Sh shared with me. Yes, shared with me. Now you can see a folder here. Share date descending. 
Tutorials for Tech Accessibility Group Folder Share Poll in December 22nd. Okay, Tutorials for Tech Accessibility Group. So, if you double tap on this, you can see all the files which has been included in the folder. In this way, you can see the folders which has been shared with you. Pause button. So, now let's learn how to remove a file. Okay, here I have a file and I want to remove this file from my drive. Okay. PWD. I want to remove this PDF. First, we have to double tap and long press on this file in order to select it. As always. Yes, I have selected it. Now we have to double tap on more options. More options button. Scroll on until you hear remove. Send file and list. Start. Move to. Remove. Remove. We have to double tap on this remove option. Okay. It will ask you undo or okay. One item removed. Undo button. Okay button. Okay. If you press okay button, it will be removed. If you press undo button, it won't be removed from your drive. So let's press okay button. It will be removed. So friends, by mistake, we have removed a file. So you want to get that file back. So how do you get it? Let's learn it. Quick connect. Recording control. Pause button. So in order to get a file back, we have to double tap on navigation drawer button, which will be located on top left corner most probably. Open navigation. Now you can see an option called trash. Start and list. Start. Offline. Trash. Okay. We have to double tap on this trash. It is like a recycle bin. Okay. Now you can see a file which has been deleted by me just now. Okay. I have deleted the file, but you can recover the file from here. So friends, in this way you can get back the files which you have deleted accidentally. Talk back is activate. Six recording controls. Reco clear button. App.mp3 audio. Okay. Pop pause button. Okay, let's learn some useful settings now. Now I am on the main screen of Drive app and going to double tap on navigation drawer button which will be located on top left corner. Open navigation drawer. And if you scroll on, you can see settings here. Upgrade storage 15.3 MB or 15.0 GB used and list. Yes, upgrade storage. Upgrade storage in the sense you can hear how much data have been used by you and how much data is left to be used. And I'm swiping right again. Notifications. Settings. Settings. So let's double tap on settings now. Okay. Yes. 15.3 MB or 15.0 GB used. Here also you can hear how much data have been used and how much data have been left to use. Upgrade storage button. Section Google Photos. Auto add. Automatically put Google Photos into a folder in my drive. Tech accessibility tutorials at Gmail. Here you can enable or disable to automatically backup your Google Photos. So I'm swiping right again. Section auto backup. Backup and reset. Backup settings for your device. So you can see backup settings here. Manage backups. List of apps that are backed up. Section notification. Notification settings. So notification settings. You can here change the notification settings for your Google Drive app like sound, vibration or which type of notifications do you want like that. So I'm swiping right again. Section documents cache. Clear cache. Remove all cache documents. So here you can clear the cache data of your Google Drive and cache documents. Cache size. Cache size is set to 50 MB. So here you can put the size of the cache up to 50 MB or more. Section encryption. Encryption. Enable encryption. Encrypt documents on this device. On switch. So here you can enable or disable encryption on your device for your Google Drive. Section data usage. Data usage. Transfer files only over Y-5. Uploading and updating of files will pause when Y-5 connection isn't available. Off switch. Yes. Transfer files via Wi-Fi. So if you don't have a Wi-Fi, 
you can disable this option and if you have a Wi-Fi you can enable this option what this option does is when you have a Wi-Fi connection it will upload the files when you are connected to Wi-Fi automatically so I don't have Wi-Fi connection right now so I have disabled this Wi-Fi transfer option section about about product tour so in this way you can use Google Drive for Android using TalkBack very easily and if you have any doubts and questions write in the comments let me know your suggestions through comments and if you like your video just click on like button share with your friends on Twitter Facebook WhatsApp and Google Plus thanks for watching this video friends recording controls 15